Today we are going to start adding color to our bears. So if I take my color wheel here, we are going to want to use analogous colors. If I kind of get this out of the way. Um, analogous colors are colors that are closest to one another on the color wheel. So if I choose the color orange, and I can get out my orange chalk, we are going to be using chalk pastels today. Um, if I go next to orange, I might find red orange. And then if I go the other direction, I might find yellow orange. So we want to use three colors that are near one another on the color wheel. So that would be a good color family to use. If I flip this over, okay, um, and I choose the color blue, I've got my blue here, then if I go off to this side, I might find a lighter blue, oops, I chose blue violet, blue, and then I could see if I can find, that looks pretty close, here's a blue green. So that would be another good color scheme. So any colors that are near one another. And our oil pastels, excuse me, our chalk pastels are split into cool colors and warm colors. And those are other good ones to, um, to use together. So really anything out of this cup and anything out of, or anything out of this cup could be used. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm not going to fill in the entire thing with one color. We're going to be adding different colors to different sections. So for this section, I'm going to use these warm colors here and I might start at the top and I'm going to use the chalk pastel and I'm really going to kind of color it in quickly. I'm not worried about leaving big chunks of white. So there we go. In between there I should have my orange. So I'm going to go over this part with orange and then down here towards the bottom I'm going to take this kind of red orange color to about there. Okay and then Instead of just using my finger to blend, we're going to be using something called liquid starch. So it kind of looks like this. kind of has a weird consistency to it, kind of gummy or gooey. I'm going to take my finger, dip it in there, and then I'm going to blend using liquid starch. So when I do that, it kind of starts to look like paint. And if you looked at my finished example, you might have thought that I had painted it, but really... I use chalk and liquid starch. So then once I get to where my colors switch, I can kind of swirl it a little bit more to kind of blend those colors. And then I'm just going to keep working through here to make it kind of blend in and look more and more like paint as I go. Now I did outline with oil pastel already so I have to worry about not blending too much when I get close to the oil pastel otherwise that is going to smear. I'm just trying to get this on my chalk pastel. Chalk pastel is chalky, oil pastel is more oily so it should be pretty easy to tell the difference. Okay so I like how that section looks. Now I might have to wash my hand but I might go, go to this section or through here or towards the top here and I'm going to choose a different color scheme. So I think through here I'm going to start with lime. And this is kind of fun, right? If we're working in the style of Dean Rousseau, we're using lots of different bright colors, creating an interesting design. So green, kind of close to my green, I can do turquoise. I don't have to color things in perfectly. Actually, I think I'm going to have my turquoise kind of come across the top of the eyes. All through there. And then through this section, I'm going to go with blue. I think that's going to look sweet. Okay, so then same thing. I'm going to dip into my liquid starch. I could either start at the top or the bottom. I really don't want to start in the middle. So it's going to make it of weird to blend and it's okay if things kind of smudge and go outside the lines we can always cut these out at the end anyway or we could turn our mistakes into masterpieces and create a cool background so one of the options that you'll have for backgrounds is watercolor paint you could use oil pastel you could use more chalk pastel if you wanted to throughout the background so maybe if i'm using a lot of cool colors on the inside of my bear and then i wanted to do oil pest or a chalk pastel on the outside, then I could do a lot of warm colors on the outside. Okay, 
but I'm just going to go ahead and keep blending. And then this will have to go on, oopsies, this will have to go onto the drying rack. I don't want to let this smear something. The whole thing. Kind of relaxing. Now I'm getting into my blue. I maybe you're one of those people who don't really like the the chalk pastel, but maybe by adding the liquid starch you'll actually like it now. Okay. Going back in, doing some extra blending. And I think that's gonna be good for today. So I'm just gonna keep going filling in each different section, and so will you.